Annick de Hauer. The GERT organizers asked myself and Simona Montanari from California State University to organize an invited colloquium for GERT. We decided on organizing a colloquium on finding universal patterns in family language policies and their effects on children. And we wanted to look at evidence from different world regions and different disciplines. We were happy to get the cooperation of Dr. Minchel Gu from Hong Kong, Dr. Simona Montanari herself, of course, Dr. Janice Nakamura from Japan, and Dr. Nikolai Slavkov from Canada. Uh, we had organized and arranged to have seven questions in total that these panelists would discuss. Then we would have opened it up to the floor for audience participation. And at the end, we would have wanted to have Dr. Maria Obojska, now at the University of Luxembourg, to act as a discussant. Unfortunately, this is not how it happened. Instead, we're going to actually post four videos, so one by each of the panelists, and they're going to be um, trying to answer the questions that we had, two of the seven questions we had. And these questions are, what sociopolitical and sociocultural factors promote or hinder bilingualism through family language policy in the regions you have studied? So we'll hear from Hong Kong, we'll hear from California, from Japan, and from Canada. And related to that is the question, do language policies in education in your region hinder or support family language policies for multilingual families? We will now upload each of these four little videos, which we hope you will enjoy, and we hope you'll find out, want to find out more about the work of our panelists. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.